Well, Mr. Yuraki, I've been watching you for nine and a half hours now out there on the bridge port. What were you doing out there? Okay, here's what we did. We assembled the flywheels with all new pins. We honed the new pins into these flywheels. These are the flywheels that originally came out of the piece. Now, when we put the whole thing together, and we couldn't get less than five on one side and about maybe two on the other. So uh, that, that's unacceptable. So um, we assume that back in the day, Indian um, just didn't quite get the crank pin holes in perfect. So we went over to the bridge port and we dialed the head into the table, which means you put an indicator in the spindle and you go all around and straighten your head up in both directions. So we got that down good, brought the flywheel out, put the flywheel down, took the crank pin, put it in a one inch holder in the spindle, and put some um, uh, lapping compound or valve grinding compound on it, and came down very, very lightly. And sure enough, we could see uh, a little bit of touching on the bottom and on the bottom on the left and on the top on the right, which indicated the hole was off. Maybe two tenths. It wasn't much. So we did that on both of them. We've reassembled now, and we are within one thousandth of an inch total indicator runout on both sides. Which well, make that's a, quite a claim. It'll make a sweetheart of a motor. Yeah, I think I would like to see you prove that last okay. claim, Mr. Yuraki. All right, well, we have a modern indicator here. Yeah, and, uh, but I thought you were going to use the ones well, on the instrument. Those are all set up, and as you okay. can see, they're within one mark. All right, let's go see that they're within one. And then to prove that, we've used wow. a modern indicator here. Wow. And, uh, so there we are, homing in. And would you put your fingertip where the tip of the needle is? Yeah. on? And yeah, so, well, I'm on the other side, George. I'm on pointing to the right side. So if you can... Put your You're finger there. Here. Yeah. Okay. So Here's there's the, the tip of the needle. This one is like well, less than one. Yeah. So and basically, you've got it so that the uh, the the shaft, the pinion shaft, actually, the right? Pinion and drive are, right. are in line within one thousandth. Of right. Inch. And so it's the same on this side as well. Yep. There's, there's and you can see that that needle is not moving. Well, it's moving one one line. Yeah. Now we wondered what one line was, so we took a modern indicator and we yeah, put that on here. Modern indicator. Mark. And and just to prove that it was actually one thousandth. And if you can get your camera on it, you'll. I see can. I see. That it's one thousandth. Yeah. Now. Let me let me ask you this: mm -hmm. Is your gauge broken? Which gauge? The one you just put on. No. It didn't move at all. No. Well, you Are you trying to tell me that we were that good? Yeah. Watch. Watch. Yeah. I want to watch. Okay. Now there you are. It's, it's spinning now, and I'll move it so you can see that it's another spot. Wow. Very, very close. Very close. Wow. So that, that you know, for, for any, any of you one-on-oneers out there who have this problem, and if you have a bridge port or an excess to one, you can take the actual pin you're going to put in, and with valve grinding compound and your um, spindle dialed into the table, it's got to be absolutely flat. You can go in there very lightly. If you go heavy, it's not going to be.